Hey, how you guys doing? So there's a lot of news that came out from the most recent live stream, which featured the girls from Aqua, Nijigaku, as well as for Liela. No news for Muse. Not really surprising, but yeah, so a lot of this news came out from that live stream, which was of course going to cover a lot of news. And of course, there's kind of a little video that covers the news pretty quickly. So all of the stuff that I'm pulling will be directly from that video. So if you want to watch that video, I'll give you a link in the description so you can watch the video yourself. So let's talk about the big variety of news that they have starting with Akua. So they have this thing called the We Are Challengers project. So projects are generally a pretty relatively general term. It could mean something as simple as an album release or it could be like a new project like Leela was. But this is just going to be a few things. So the first thing and probably the big major thing is they're going to have a PV starring the physical cast. So the Seiyus, so we're not going to see Chika but we're going to see Anju and Nami instead. So that's kind of interesting, that's going to be a first for Love Live, and I'm curious to see how that's going to go and why they're choosing to go this route. Maybe to expand their audience, potentially? So yeah, we're going to get those, and I'll have to see how that works. On top of that, they're also talking about the Aqua Club 2021, there was a 2021 last year, and there's going to be a CD set, and there's going to be a bunch of releases in that. And of course, we have the We Are Challenges Project theme song that's going to be included in this one, so a new song, we don't know what it's called, and then there's going to be cast with a PV. I don't know if that's separate from the first one, but I guess the fact that they're announcing it separately is telling me I guess it's going to be a separate PV, so that I imagine it's going to be two PVs, but maybe I'm wrong. If you d know for sure, let me know in the comments below. But that's just more or less what we're going to get from the We Are Challenges project. Beyond that, if you are someone who looked at the Love Live Days magazines, which I do post once in a while, this image might be semi-familiar. What is this? So, there's this thing called Genjutsu no Yohana, which Genjutsu I think means like reality or something like that. And we all, we saw these kind of images with Yohane, and they had this thing called Sunshine in the Mirror, and there's going to be some project expansion on this. So I don't know exactly what in, is entirely entailed with this, or if anything big is going to come of it. But the fact that they have this might mean something, I don't know what it is yet, so I'll update you once I know, but I guess look forward into future Love Live Day magazines and see what this exactly is. Is this a new game? Is this a collaboration? I don't know. Maybe it's just another album or songs or something like that where we may get something like an art deep resonance or something. So let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Moving on to Nijigaku news. This one is just saying that they're going to be re-airing the Nijigaku anime, I guess on NHK or I think that's a channel, on April 11th. So I now, I don't think that really pertains to much of us because we don't actually get to see it there. But I guess they're re airing so if you're in Japan, I guess this is great for you if you want to re-watch the anime again live. Now, if they imagine if they renew those bonuses for logging in during the episode airing, but that's probably not happening. And of course, there's this thing, this is for the Shuffle Live, that you guys are wondering. They're going to be raffling off some tickets to watch for free for the Shuffle Live, which of course is paid. I think they said about 300 The process is going to be covered by Love Live Wiki, so this is more or less the process on how you get the Shuffle Festival. So potentially, you might get it if you just participate and submit an application, and you might get to watch it for free, so that's going to be pretty cool. Uh, the live stream is going to be on March 20th and 21st in, I guess, Japan, so a little before that for us, so probably 19th and 20th, so stay tuned for that. There is also another raffle where they're talking about the road to next Tokimeki stories, which if you get uh, the Blu-ray 5, 6, or 7, then you are able to get into the raffle to participate in fan meetings. So if you want to meet the, with the Seiyus physically, I guess as long as COVID restrictions are met and all that. So if you guys are interested in that, well, you have to get this and enter in the raffle. And potentially you might be able to meet with them. This includes fan meetings as well as unit live concerts, so potentially, but I guess you probably have to be in Japan for that. Moving on, we'll go into Liela news. Ezra did two covers for their first single. Of course, if you don't know, there's an A and a B or like two different ones where it went, the one on left covers three songs while the other one covers three songs. But the difference is that one song won't be in the other one. So there's actually four songs in total. So these are just different album covers for those. So in total, we're going to have four different songs. Moving on, we have confirmation that the 
single Hajimari Wakimi no Sora, which is going to be their first song, which of course is going to be animated in MV, will come April 7th in 2D form in Love Life Squad Festival All Stars game. No mention about 3D. And the anime for Love Life Superstar it will be released in 2021, the month being 7, so July. That's when we'll be able to see the anime, and I am really excited. I expected it to be coming out in 2021. And potentially following that, we might be able to see Nijigaku Season 2. But this is going to be big as we are going to get the start of Leela. So this is going to come not too far from now. A little, what, four months or so. And if you're wondering, are these songs going to be coming to Squall Festival? The answer is yes. The dates are to the right. You would get Haji Mani Wakimi no Soda on March 1st. And that will be available for a few days. And you'll get the rest of the songs for a duration. So if you want to preview those songs or play those songs in the game, you are able to and Love Life Squall Festival. So this is a summary posted by the Love Life Wiki on Twitter. So you guys can get a quick idea of what is coming to Love Life in the next few months. So let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. What do you speculate is going to be happening with things like the Yohane thing? What do you think? And how excited are you for Liela? Especially the anime is coming soon. Let me know what you guys think about all of this in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope to catch you guys in another video soon.